Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another box of 2019 Top Star Wars Masterwork. This came out recently. It's been pretty popular. We're already on one box break number 14, random pack 14. Big thanks to Stephen Kendrick with all the spots. May the force be with you. We only have three boxes left. We have box three, five, and six remaining right here. And Stephen K would like us to use one of these blue die. I said, do you want Sith die or do you want Jedi dice? He's going with blue. We'll use that one right there. All right. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll save these for next time. In fact, Curtis picked up a personal box, so we'll do that for him in a separate video after this. So this happens to be box five. I guess they're not die. Chant... Chance cubes. All right. We, we got to stay on brand. All right, Stephen K., thank you very much and good luck. So we're looking for, once again, two autographs guaranteed per master box right here. And we're looking for sketch cards, film cells, commemorative medalli medallions, etc., etc. So we got Grand Moff Tarkin. We got Val. 49 out of 99. We got Tobias Beckett. And we got a first order stormtrooper. And a C3PO film cell. That's a one of one. Kind of hard to tell what scene this is. Looks like the, the bottom one, they're inside the Millennium Falcon. Kind of sort of hard to tell. Can we see right over there? Anyway, that's a one of one. See, okay. Stephen Kendrick, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right, next one. William L. saying that that was part of the movie where, where he was being annoying. <laughs> We're doomed. Supreme Leader Snoke. Han Solo. Never tell me the odds. The Emperor. And behind Rose, that's number to 299, is a sketch card. Woo! That's a beaut. Look at that. That's the twin sons of Tatooine. But that means that would lead them right home. <laughs> That's Luke Skywalker. My Luke, that was my Luke Skywalker impression. Nice. John Williams score right there. That's awesome. We'll consider this a one of one, Stephen K. All aboard! Whoop, whoop. All aboard some sort of big space transport. Nice. Two more to go. So the next two should be autographs. Nice battle right here. People say that 
Obi-Wan's fighting style, which is very cautious and defensive, would best lends itself to battle aggressive fighters like Darth Maul, General Grievous, so on and so forth. Nothing flashy in his fighting style and Anakin at the very end, episode three. That's what they say. Sword fighting experts would say that. He's like, a, he's like the Floyd Mayweather of, 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 uh, of lightsaber battling. He's very defensive, but makes it hard to, for him to break down. 23 out of 50 Finn, which exhausts his opponents usually with his defensive prowess. And then he can strike. I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that has compared Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber fighting style to Floyd May Mayweather. So there's that. There's S1, D8, SA5. D6, SA5. Voiced by Stephanie Silva. General Hux, and your second autograph. <laughs> yeah, Curtis, it's true. This is a pretty safe password. Well, now that we told everybody, but... We got R2-D2. R2-D2, where are you? Lando. R5-D4, and Bodhi Rook, the pilot. That's number 299. And we've got, nice, Sam Witwer, the voice of Maul. That's pretty cool. <laughs> 62 out of 99. There you go, Stephen Kendrick. I think this uh, turned out to be pretty nice. I especially am a favorite, a fan of that. I think that that's that's really cool. It almost looks like I'm trying to figure out what kind of medium is being used right here. It almost looks paint-like right there. Well, whatever, whatever it is, it's pretty nice. Some good texture to this art, depicting a pretty classic scene in Star Wars. Thanks, Stephen Kendrick, for getting into that action. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye.